Did you know that wind turbine blades are built to last a long time, but they are recyclable? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is The Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout and thank you for joining me for this episode of The Wind Farm Guy. Today I am in, at uh, Washington State University with Dr. Carl England who has uh, developed a way, who's been part of a process that developed a way to recycle wind turbine blades. Dr. England, thank you for joining me today and I appreciate it. Well, thanks a lot, Dennis. Thanks for coming out to our lab here and see our facilities. Thank you. Um, tell us uh, a little bit, first of all, about the problem, mm -hmm. and then let's go into the solutions in a moment. Yeah, I think we're all pretty aware of the problems out there. We've seen the wind turbines and landfills, anybody that's been paying attention to it kind of thing. Uh, we do see you know, quite a few um, uh, um, issues with, with these large volumous blades coming into the uh, uh, our landfills, but we also have a lot of problems with not just wind turbine blades, but a lot of other glass fiber composites. Glass fiber composites are pretty prevalent in our transportation industry, our, our leisure, our boats are made out of them, um, um, uh, the airplanes, a lot of the airplane components are, are made out of glass fiber. So we have a pretty large volume of glass fiber out there kind of thing. And when you look at it, yeah, the wind turbines are big and they're monstrosities and we see them all over the place, but they're actually, the wind energy is only about an 8% of the entire fiberglass um, market. And so it's actually a pretty small chunk of it. So we got a lot of other materials right. besides wind turbine blades that need to be recycled. So. so the wind turbine blades and the cells and all the fiberglass, carbon fiber and all of that is only 8% yeah. of at, that market. Yeah, if you look at just wow. the, 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 the the amount of material that goes, that's glass fiber composites that goes into the wind energy field, it's about eight, eight percent, so. Okay. It's pretty small. So, tell me, tell me about the way you recycle. Let, let's focus on uh, your, the mechanical recycling. Yes, yeah. And so there, we, we do a mechanical recycling process. There's other types of, of recycling processes that, that you can look at. Mm -hmm. There's chemical recycling where you actually use a solvent or some type of chemical to break down the resins and the other material in there to then harvest the, the glass fiber out of there. You can use thermal treatments like a pyrolysis or something similar to then burn off all the components and then harvest um, uh, the, the actual glass fiber out of there kind of thing. But we use a mechanical process where we break it down, we use that inherent structure of the, 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 the glass fiber composite in its original form throughout the process to then make final products out of that kind of thing. And one of the things that we, you know, if you look at the difference between the chemical and the, and, the, and the thermal treatments compared to the mechanical and what we're doing, a lot of it really comes down to a volume. You know, we just mentioned that, you know, there's a lot of blades out there, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's lots of other materials out there. So any recycling strategy that is really going to benefit society and really kind of push that, that cleaning up of these materials has to take on a large volume. Right. And that's one of the things that we're looking at is, is we want volume. We, we want to have bigger plants and, and bigger um, feedstock streams coming into our process. Unlike chemical and pyrolysis you know, right now, they're pretty limited. And, and, and as far as the volumes that they can handle, they'd have to have a lot of plants, a lot of capital to be able to handle it. Right. That's one of their plants. limitations yes. where it's a, yeah. a benefit for you. Yeah. Yes, okay. it is. Um, I do want to uh, ask one final question. Uh, if there's one thing that you wish the general public knew, what would that be? I just, you know, I just can't help but think that, you know, the, the, these are difficult things to do, but we can do them. And we have the technology, we have the, the, the gumption and, and the drive and the motivation and the skill set to make these things happen. And so they classify them as non-recyclable. I don't agree with that. They are recyclable. It's just got to find the right fit for it. So. That is good to hear. If you like what we've discussed today, be sure and click like and subscribe below. If you have comments or would like me to address a particular topic relative to wind farms, please also leave me a comment. Dr. England, thank you very much for, for joining uh, us today and telling us about this. This is great news that wind turbine blades are recyclable. We just have to generate the volume for you. Yes, we do. Yes, we All do. Right. Appreciate it, Dennis. Thanks for coming down. Uh, thank you. This is Dennis Stout, and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together, we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.